Welcome back to the channel. On our very last camp out of last year, I noticed that there was a little bit of water around the base of our toilet. So I figured that the water inlet valve, the O-ring in there was starting to leak. And when I dewinterized, I noticed we still had that leak. So today I'm just gonna go through, show you how to change that inlet valve. It's really easy. I've done a couple of these in the past. So I thought I'd bring you guys along and show you how it's done. So first thing we got, spin this around so the first thing that we have we have a new valve and a worm gear and some screws come with that what I'm going to do is I'm also going to add a shut off right down here so if I have any issues with this going bad or if I have a water leak or something in here, I can just turn the water off. I don't have to kill the water to the rest of the camper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Peck crimp style or cinch style crimps on this. So I got the crimping tool, uh, crescent wrench pliers, and a pair of side cuts just so I can cut through it. So let me turn this light on. Go down here and I'll show you where we're at. <clears throat> so right down there, right here's the valve. And that'll sit right in there like that. What you'll notice, uh, you might be able to see a little bit of water right there. So it's leaking right out of back here. That's a good indication these fail. They do fail on a regular basis, so don't get too upset about yourself. This one here is supposed to be an upgraded one and it's supposed to be like freeze proof and I bought it on Amazon for like 20 bucks. It will not break the bank if one of these go bad. So I'll show you how easy it is. Let me get this GoPro on a stand and we'll go through and start tearing it apart. So the first thing we're going to do is loosen this water line. Take our pliers. Make sure that your pump is turned off you're not hooked up to city water or anything the first thing I'll do come back here grab a hold of, let's take that screw out smaller flat would work better but this is all I have Now you have one tang right here. Let me show you. This will sit in there like that. So you have one tang here and one tang here. Wheel it back and forth, and there you go. So I'm just gonna come in here. I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna cut this crimp off here. Take your snips. You just gotta keep prying on it until you get it popped out. I'll get the 
this water picked up a little bit. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to put some tape on here. Now in your kit they give you a, a worm gear to put on here I'm gonna go back in with, with a crimp style one since I got the crimper right here so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this little section off of here after I get that cut off I'm gonna slide my crimp up on here new one slide that in here okay so I get it about right Now, just gotta take that, shove that back into place. to go get a smaller screwdriver. So the next thing we're putting that on, but I, I said I'm gonna add a shutoff valve in here. So let's go ahead and cut that right. Well, I guess I have a towel down. Okay, what I did, I went ahead and cut, shorten that up, the length of that right there. This has a drain valve on it, so I actually want that coming out here, so I can actually put a bowl right here and drain something if I want it to. This is just a, a straight through, so it doesn't make a difference which way it sets. Attach this.
So we got two crimps, a new crimp here. So what we're going to do, we're going to turn the water on and we'll see if we got any leaks. there so there you go we got the valve changed and everything there was a couple little stiffer points little tougher points trying to get that line coming from the top down that um, rubber was a little hard to get that old valve off to get the new one on and I had to put a little bit of effort into it but you could if you wanted to go ahead and replace that with a more flexible line and you know, do the same thing with the crimps and everything so hopefully you found this video informative if you did give it a thumbs up I'll see you guys the next time talk to you later bye